absolute honor that Lokmas has given me to be here and uh, share this evening with you. I come from Bombay, but uh, Puna is home for me. My first ever show 25 years ago was done in this city. And uh, people here have always, always welcomed me so beautifully, and Lokmas has given me this opportunity once again this evening. I just want to tell you that I've been in this business for 25 years. It's been I've been a fashion designer for 25 years, and um, I've just released my first film as a director this uh, 7th of July, I'd like to say, after. And uh, every girl, every woman who's going to work for the Ryan is not a professional model. Uh, we're going to take 10 minutes more, and we will be, uh, I think, uh, proceed with the show. We just need to do some photo ops with the members of the community. I just want you to know that the clothes that I'm showing today on stage are worn by women who are entrepreneurs in Pune who are not professional models. I met them this morning and uh, whatever you're going to see, whatever they're going to do for you here is a matter of just two hours. Whatever I could train them, teach them, tell them about fashion and about their ideas about how to hold a band is what they have learned to do us. They come in all different age groups, stage sizes and you're just going to have a great evening. You're just going to understand that Every time we always choose models who are 36, 24, 36, so they're so slim and thin and they just close just fall like a hand around them and they look just so stunning. But today you're going to see some beauties walking up this event tonight. Um, I just met them this morning. I don't know what they do. They do. I uh, was just so amazed with what all they do. So I really don't know them by their names and their professions, but I know that they are entrepreneurs. They have their own identity. They do so well for themselves in the city of Puna and I'm really, really proud to showcase my clothes on this, so I think you should really, when they come up on stage, you should give them a round of applause because they truly deserve it. I would, I would have cold feet if somebody asked me to do something that I was not used to or we could from my comfort zone. And after which we're going to have a beautiful talk session with each one of you. It's going to be thrown open. I'm going to talk to each one of you and I'm hoping that all of you have a lot of questions for me. Feel free to ask me whatever you want. There are little surprises for you that I'm going to pull up on the back tonight. So Lokma, thank you so much and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you, Vikram. So, I request all Lokma's Saki Kudeshwar members to really sit in the pool outside and we're going to have a photo session. Only the ladies. The kids of the ladies should be seated over here. It's a humble request. Well, right then. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this fabulous evening, which is about glitz, glamour, and you name it, and I love this evening for the simple reason that I see so many gorgeous women in the audience. My name is Rudhima Patrick, I'm your host for the evening, and I have to tell you that um, before I was coming for the show tonight, I was going through a lot of, um, lot of, lot of things that we have in the fashion world, and one of them, which really stood out to me, said, that if you dress shabbily, you remember the dress. But if you dress impeccably, you remember the woman. And I think all of you sitting here tonight are worth remembering. Please give yourself a big, big round of applause because you've turned out as a very, very gorgeous audience this evening. Well, what we are here today is, and what all of you are here today for is, the Lokmat Saki Privilege Club. Now, Progression is the special virtue which the Lokma Saki Privilege Club talks about. This Saki Club is a congregation of the most influential women across the social economic landscape of Pune. So when we talk about the Saki Privilege Club, we talk about every woman who signifies progress. And this club, where you talk about the sisterhood celebrated, where you exchange ideas of companionship by the noted author Satan Bhagat, or the vaginal monologue which happened where you were talking about the inner depths of human feelings which are affected by the external factors, or you talk about tonight, which is very, very special and very, very glamorous, as the brand name Vikram Fadness is associated with it. And what I'm wearing today is a glimpse of what this man has to offer. So, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, 
I see only ladies. There are only gentlemen out there right behind. So I'm going to just refer to ladies tonight. What I want is that I don't want a boring audience because you guys are not. All right? I want a lot of hooting and cheering as it's an evening dedicated to women. And as a new hashtag which is going on on all the social media platforms is that we are unapologetically women. Right? You want to be unapologetic about anything and everything that you do tonight. All right? So can I hear a loud yes? Are you guys going to give me the vibe that I want this evening? I love, I love the class, but let's go a little more bold with all the hoots and the shouting that I want in the audience. Let's start with this side. All right? Are you guys going to give me the cheer that I want for this evening? Give me a loud yes. Man, I love this audience. All right, let's start with this side. Guys? Are you going to give me the kind of cheers and hoots that I want for this evening as most gorgeous women walk the ramp and all you gorgeous women will be cheering for them? Okay, can I hear the loud yes? One, two, three, go! Fantastic. Let me tell all the women backstage, you've got the audience that you wanted. With that, let's start with the evening and let's start this amazingly chic and glamorous evening with a bit of auspicious. So let's have the lighting of the lamp, and for that, may I please invite on stage Mr. Vikram Padnan, the fashion designer, Mrs. Usha Kakri, the chairperson of USK Foundation, Mr. Vijay Pavitskar, the editor Lokmat Puni, Mr. Vinay Arhana and Ms. Vitti Arhana, director of the Rosary Group of Institutes, Mr. Milan Darda, the general manager Lokmat, Mr. Manish Soneja, Belmac Residences, Mr. Sapke, Director of IFAS Academy. Mr. Manoj Rathor and Naresh Rathor, Director of Rathor Jewelers. And Mr. Rangla Charya, General Manager, Audi Pune. And Mr. Dipanshu Thakur from The Inspiration. Oh, we can do a better job than that. I, I believe we'll have to step down to the lighting of the lamp, and then uh, we'll be sure to begin with the celebration. I think we'll have to step down to the lighting of the lamp. So. But it's very important that before we see all the women walk around, we see all our gentlemen walk around, isn't it? It's a bit of a fast one I pulled off, I guess. That's okay. A lot of women in the house. We're all nervous about it. Women, you're making men nervous out here, yeah? Feel confident? Should I ask everyone to cheer for you to get your hopes high? You'll have a, no, you'll have a lot of women cheer for you tonight. So just in case you want that.
With that, ladies and gentlemen, we'd also begin with a celebration as this night wouldn't have been possible without our sponsors. And for that, may I please invite the stage Mr. Vijay Arhana and Ms. Dikti Arhana from Rosary Group of Institutes to please celebrate the man and the brand that we're celebrating tonight, Vikram Patnas. May I please, please request Mr. Vijay Arhana and Ms. Dikti Arhana to please step forward. Mr. Vina Arana and Mr. Tia Arana, guys. Let's give them a big round of applause and, of course, the man that we're celebrating tonight. That's the Puneri Pagri and Uparna. As Pune warmly welcomes you, Vikram. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. And I request Mr. Vijay Bhavastir to please felicitate Mrs. Usha Kakri, the chairperson of USK Foundation. I also request Mr. Manish Toneja from Belmac Residences to please step forward. Oh my God, there you are. You feel okay? Yeah? I think you should wave a hand to all the audience out there. Yeah, that's the man we're talking about. May I also request Mr. Sapke from ISAS Academy Beauty Partners to please step forward. And may I also request Mr. Manoj Rathor and Mr. Naresh Rathor from Rathor Jewelers to please step forward. I request you to please salute state of sponsors. Our sponsors tonight, and I think they deserve a round of applause. Thank you so much. And last but not least, may I please request Mr. Rakesh Malhotra to please step forward and felicitate Mr. Rangla Charlu, General Manager, RG Pune. you guys that we're going to begin with the evening, the segment of the evening that we're all waiting for. And all the models that have walked the ramp are a 
achievers in their respective fields, but they aren't professional models. But let me tell you, they will walk the ramp like it. Because all that they've learned is in the past three hours, and let me tell you, they've grabbed the art and how. And the man that we're celebrating today has completed 25 years in the industry. And that's exactly what we're celebrating today. And this is fashion designer, has just turned director with the dancer his Marathi movies. How many of you did get a chance to watch that? Well, I see, I see a couple of hands. So, guys, are we all set for this evening to start? Ouch. Oh, my God. Guys, are we all set for this evening to start? All right, what about, ladies and gentlemen? I present to you the term Buckness. I don't know if it was just a job. It was all I knew. In fact, it was all I ever wanted to do. I really don't take anything to that. Because I've always believed that just because you're successful doesn't mean you can't fail. Everyone in my family is in the field of medicine. It was obvious that it was my parents' dream that I take this up professionally. But I was sure that if I wanted to be happy, I had to do something that gave me focus, the drive, and the satisfaction. Over these 25 years, I've had to keep reassuring myself that I would not waste a lifetime doing something that really was not meant for me. And here, you best know the last job that I started as a career trip, and my journey of being one was just so wonderful. I enjoyed the process of working on stage, light, sound, just the whole production. The energy, the buzz, and the passion of directing shows was something that gave me a hand. Taking a choreography professionally was the best decision I ever took. It was just the most amazing feeling to have directed shows with the country's biggest supermodels of that time. Working as a choreographer, I had taken a keen interest to fabric choreographies and dance. It was a whole new experience, and a new phase of my life had just begun. The space between being a choreographer to a designer, I think, was just the toughest.